Hello, this is the fifth video in the series on the medallion collar. And like my second video in this series, it is just a little chat to show you what I've been working on and what I'm planning to do. So next, now we've finished all the bottom edge, which is looking lovely. We want to work on the neckline. And the neckline actually starts with some extra pieces that need to be worked here on the edge. On the left here, this is the way it is done as per the pattern. But for me, I don't really like, to me, it's like there's a gap there, which I don't find really visually appealing. Like it's not completely finished on the edge. But that's the way they've done it here. You know, the three rings, you can see them here, three rings, and then onto the little rings, and then start the chain a bit further down. So that followed it as per the instructions in the pattern. And that's what it looks like. So I wanted to change that. And this is my proposal here on this side, on the right side. I've added an extra ring and then an extra chain here to fill that gap and I just think it looks a bit more finished and consistent going around the edge of the collar. I hope you'll agree because this is what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video. So these two pieces here will have to be added separately first and then we work on the neckline. I've not found a way really to do that continuously so we'll still have to do those two pieces separately but you'll be pleased to hear I hope that I've saved you lots of extra work by doing away with the diamond shaped pieces here that were in between each medallion at the neckline. So we would have had to make 10 of these little pieces here separately, attach them, then cut and tie for each of them. But now I've incorporated one ring here into the first round of the neckline instead. And I think that will make it more consistent because now I can space it evenly all the way around the collar. Whereas here they had it attached at different places as we discussed, as we discussed before with little rings in some spaces and not in others. So now it's going to be consistent and look all the same all the way around the neckline. So I hope you'll be happy with that. It's what I'm planning to do. And I'm going to start working on the next video to show you how to do that. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.